So let's invite our welcome to room to us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for, for being here. I know everybody was waiting for, right? Lunch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're very excited about this program that we started. Uh, we've been in conversations with Post Oak Savannah for, for a little while now, trying to come up with some ideas and some ways to uh, get rainwater harvesting incentive programs within the district. And so what I'm doing uh, today is it's basically the, the announcement of this, this new program to, to give it to y'all to, to use and, and how it's going to work. We haven't really had any announcements or any public uh, information about this program yet. So we're pretty excited about this. Or I'm very excited about this new program. So just real quickly, we have workshops for this, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. Before I talk about rainwater harvesting, rebate program, I figured I need to at least say what is rainwater harvesting, uh, to see if you're interested or not. Basically, just a quick definition, is rainwater harvesting is the capture, diversion, and storage um, of rainwater for later use. To be able to capture this rainwater, um, how we can store it, and then use it for, for later use. And what this, with, with the idea that Post Oak is, is using this for is, is water conservation, to be able to capture this rainwater uh, and then conserve water, use less water uh, for this, uh, for your landscape. And it can be something as simple as this 50-gallon uh, barrel. Uh, we have example one up here, or, or thousands and thousands of gallons based on that use uh, and what you want to use it for. But we talk about this rain, uh, we talk about water deficits and, and what we're going to do to come up with this. Is rainwater harvesting is, is not a new, new idea, neither is um, you know, desaling some of the, the, the water for later use. But the big question, like I said, real quickly, we're going to go through uh, rainwater harvesting. What is it? But the real <clears throat> number one question we get, how much? How much can I capture? So a general rule of thumb, it can go up or down just a little bit based on how efficient your roof and, and diversion and capture uh, systems and components are. But in general, each square foot of the collection service footprint generates about 0.6 gallons of water. So in other words, if you have a roughly a 2,000 square foot uh, collection surface, so that's the, the rim or the drip line of your roof, 2,000 square feet can generate 1,200 gallons per inch of rainfall. So there's, there's a, a surprising potential to collect this rainwater. And usually when people start with these these uh, smaller barrels is what I like to call a gateway to, to rainwater harvesting because once you catch catch that, that's going to fill up in the first two minutes and then you're going to want bigger and more. And that's a great thing. I mean, this it changes people's ideas of how and what they're going to be when they see rainwater coming off the roof. You know, you've got to capture all of it. It, it can get pretty uh, addicting and exciting when you see the rain hit, hit your roof. All different sizes of tanks, we talked about that, small, small barrels, these larger tanks, here's a barrel here, all different looks. So it, it's going to be adapted to your home, to your, to your facility, to your barn, whatever that case may be, whatever you're using, whatever you're going to capture, there's all different creative ways to get these hooked up. Here's just some examples to, to maybe uh, get some thoughts going on what some of these uh, systems may look like, may uh, be incorporated into your, to your home. Here's one we worked on in, in Seguin. So why rain, uh, harvest rainwater? Uh, reduce the dependency on, on water using our landscapes. Most of our water that we use is, uh, at least during the summer, is going to be used on outdoors, watering our grass, watering our landscape, watering our, our flower garden. Uh, and water is a precious resource. We want to we want to capture and hold on and, and use as, as less as we can. Uh, water quality it's a it's a big important component of, of water. Whatever you're you've got a garden, um, your your tomatoes, whatever that you're trying to get, we have maybe have high uh, salts in your in your groundwater. Rainwater is the best water for soil and plants. Uh, no salt, free uh, helps uh, balance pH. It's, it's pretty neutral. Uh, storm water management. Actually, it can you capture that water, the heavy rainfall, capture it, slow it down, and then release it slowly onto your to your property. So it actually encourages some some recharge, right? When you're slowing that water down and then water it onto your landscape, and being able to slow that water down. Within our Post Oak Savannah groundwater conservation uh, 
program that we're looking at and developing as we walk through this, um, so we have some main points and main goals and objective, objectives of this program. One is, is the rainwater harvesting rebate program, and I'm going to go into those details here shortly and what that looks like for y'all and how to participate in that. And then also the demonstration sites, but not only just the demonstration site for our rainwater harvesting, um, so that we can build that and, and install that there at the office to show you how one works, and then through our trainings we can show you all the different components of a good working rainwater harvesting system. Also a garden. Um, drought tolerant plants, being able to pick the correct plants that, that survive the best with the with, uh, least amount of water needed, drought tolerant plants, and have those at the site, at the office in Post Oak Savannah. So you can see examples of how they're, how they're doing. And then irrigation. So not, we don't only we just want to have people, encourage people to catch the rainwater, uh, but also what can we do with it afterwards and make sure we're watering the correct uh, the best plants and then how the best way, most efficient way to irrigate those plants um, after we capture that water. And so through this, we're going to have a series of education workshops and trainings. So we'll invite y'all to the Post Oak Savannah office and then we're going to have a rainwater harvesting program, a workshop. We're going to have a landscape uh, design, uh, drought tolerant plant selection workshop and water conservation. We're going to have a lawn class um, just to get once we get the uh, samples, or excuse me, once we get the, the containers and the cisterns all installed, we want you to be able to do the best uh, way you can to conserve that water. Here's just some examples of some from demonstration sites. And so the goal of the rainwater harvesting rebate program is to encourage rainwater harvesting and promote water conservation. Uh, we want to promote and adopt best management practices, maximizing the effectiveness. So, we don't just want to give the money, uh, to give the money and to encourage people to, to get the rainwater harvest. We also want people to utilize these correctly, maintain them correctly, so that they're getting the best use for that water. So we'll offer workshops through that to encourage the best use and to make sure that it's, it's being maintained um, and, and set up correctly. We'll go through during the education program the site analysis. We're just, just generally, we'll spend a lot more time in detail on this, but we'll go, what's your supply, what's your demand, what's your collection surface, how much does it rain, how much can you collect. Then we'll go through what size tank do you need based on all that information. And then we need, there's a checkbook method. You can figure out how much inflows and how much demand you need, or the other checkbook method is just how much does it cost. And that usually eliminates what the size of the tank is going to be um, in general. But with that, that's the biggest one of the biggest concerns when setting up a pretty good sized rainwater harvesting system is, is the cost of those tanks and systems. So that's where Post Oak Savannah is coming in to try to encourage this, this rainwater harvesting. So here it is, here's the rebate program, um, real briefly. Uh, but it's, it's to incentivize rainwater harvesting, and it's going to be up to $3,000 per, per household. But what it is, it's a dollar per gallon. And so that's just real basic. Per gallon that you buy your cistern or tank, they'll give you a rebate per dollar um, based on that size. And so that is in, the idea of that is to include the whole system, which would include tank, the, you know, the, the foundation, your tank, um, overflow, any, any miscellaneous items that make up that entire system, because it could over be, that could be more money than what you've spent for that gallon, uh, depending on what size or what tank, what size of tank or what uh, material that tank was built up. So for example, if you purchase a 550 gallon tank and install gutter overflow and other, other fittings, you would receive a $550 um, rebate that covers that whole system. So it's just based on the size of the tank. So here's that fine print, right? I'm going to read through this real quick. No, to, to qualify, the applicant must be a resident or landowner within the district. The system must be installed within the district. So we want to make sure that the rainwater harvesting system is within the district. Um, applicants must complete an approved rainwater harvesting course. So to do this, you're going to have to go through one of our rainwater harvesting workshops that we'll have at the office. You have to go through that course to, to be eligible for this rebate. And, only one application per household every 12 months. Uh, like I said, it's up to 3000 It's a dollar per gallon. 
SOP plans. We'll go through what a SOP plan is and how to make that. It's going to be hand drawn through that course that needs to be turned in before the, the expenses um, are considered and then it'll be approved and you go and, and install your program and then myself or someone from the post office staff will go out and make sure. We just want to make sure that the money being spent is going to a good working rainwater harvesting system and it is hooked up correctly. So go go through and make sure it is it is installed in, in a good working order um, and then the rebate will be uh, applied for that. So that was a lot of good information. So basically here's your instructions on, on how to participate. Attend the rainwater harvesting workshop and then turn on a rainwater harvesting site plan to the district and it goes through this. And we're going to go through what that looks like within the workshop and what you need to be a part of that. Uh, applicant must be notified of approval status and then the rebate program application and it will come out and schedule uh, once it's installed. And then that rebate per dollar gallon of cistern tank will be, uh, will be given. So our first day for our rainwater harvesting uh, workshop is set for October 10th. Uh, and if, if we, this is going to be, uh, it could fill up. Uh, so if we do fill up, then you're not cut out. We're just going to schedule another one to make sure we can um, fit everybody in. So we'll continue to schedule new workshops if needed. But this is our first one. We have a sign up on the outside table as where you signed in. You can sign up there. Uh, we're working on getting a, a website for online registration. Um, but this is, like I said, very new. And so we're working through some of these and, and we'll get that up shortly. But you can sign up um, on the outside table out there. We just want to make sure, we're going through this, that you're using the right tools to make sure that you have that system and it's functioning and working properly. So make sure you're not, you're not in, a, in over your head or, or it's just not going to work correctly. We also had a date set for an earth kind workshop. Um, Working through an individual um, oh, with myself at Extension that, that does the earth kind. It's going to go over drought tolerance, heat tolerance, plants, low, um, using lower fertilizer requirements. <clears throat> and talk about drip irrigation set up through that. So we also have that date set up as well. And that's for November 6th. And so that is, again, that flyer. Both of these flyers with information are out on that front table and sign up there. Again, we will have more education workshops going through uh, as we get more details. But these are the two that have set dates. So we're really excited about these opportunities to, to get the rainwater harvesting um, program, rebate program, and to have these continuing workshops going forward. Uh, I believe that's, yeah. So here's some ideas of what we have coming forward. We just know set dates. And we've got these schedules. So hopefully this mindset of, of seeing that rainwater run off the end of your roof and, and trying to capture that, and then hopefully the Post Oak Savannah rebate program is going to help incentivize and get that going for you. Are there any questions about the program? Yes, there in the back. Are you referring to the office of Post Oak Savannah? Yeah, the, the gutters are, 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 are in order. We're putting gutters out. We're going to put a nice big tank on it. <laughs> we, we are. We're going through. We've got the site plan going. We're working through it. And we're going to have a nice pretty tank that we'll show you. And we'll, through this workshop, the idea is to have go out and look at a working system at the Post Oak Savannah District. Right. <laughs> well, we're going to hook it up, and we're excited about the building that we can host these workshops too. Thank you. Yes. A dollar per gallon. Right. 
we're at. How much that tank would cost? But it, you know, it depends on uh, a lot of things. And so, with, like she mentioned, do you have gutters on there? And if you want to catch water, you're going to have a conveyance system set up. And if you don't have gutters, then that's a big cost. Um, the idea that the really, what they really want to do is to encourage rainwater harvesting and not have any obstacles set up. And so with that, um, a very um, encouraging pricing of this is hoping to cover some of that. So. The, the, it's the cost, you know, if you have um, a good spot to put that, um, it's going to how far away you need to put your tank or how close you're going to put your tank. All depends on that, that, uh, that product. So, you know, the tanks, even, I mean, it depends on, I, I hate to give a number. I don't, I mean, that would, I, I, not many scenarios, unless you do a stainless steel tank, is you're not going to come out to where that's not going to cover you 100%. Um, you should have all your tanks should be covered and then depending on the weight it's going to also determine what kind of uh, foundation that you need to set up so foundation if you don't have gutters or big costs that are addition to that tank um, but I don't, I don't know uh, it's, it, you should this is very um, good coverage so make sure you everyone gets covered for that for that yes Yes, and so the talking about every 12 months, so it's up to 3,000. So the idea was, and, and based on my experience, if someone's going to go in, maybe for that example of 550 gallons, they're going to set up and install that 550 gallon system, and then it's going to fill up, and then they're going to use it. And so most of the time, people are like, I wish I'd gone bigger. And so they didn't want to discourage people from collecting more, more water. And so you can go back and say, okay, I got that system, you can add on and just connect that tank um, and, and show the receipt for that other tank or you can do it on another building at the same household uh, but that was to make sure that if somebody set this up and they saw all that rain filling up that tank and then going through your overflow then you wanted to connect another one and you still are under that 3,000 then they can do that Every 12 months, yes, yes, yes. And we just, we just don't know what the demand's going to be, so we want to make sure that everyone gets covered. Yep. More. All right, folks, oh, let's... I'm sorry. Oh. companies that install these, um, but you know, you could, the homeowner or you, or, or you could pay somebody to, to come and do that, but that's, we, we don't have a list of, of folks that are um, installing these, uh, and that could just be incorporated into that cost, or it could be you putting a tank underneath the gutter, and that's all, it's just, that's the, that's, the, that's part of, and hopefully included in the coverage of the, the dollar per gallon. Well, currently they're not licensed to, to install those. If you're bringing it inside for any, this is for outdoor use, uh, but there's no requirement for the state for that in license. Correct. Correct. Interestingly, interestingly, there was a discussion through this past legislative session about the licensing of rainwater installation. It did not go through, no. But it's a, but it is a discussion that's kind of ongoing about should there be licensing, should it be? Um, but there are lots of rainwater installation companies everywhere in Texas locally. I would just Google it. 
Um, sir, I'm afraid that we unfortunately do need to move on to the next panel. I'm sorry to keep putting this. Sorry. Yes, um, I'm sorry. Um, I, I almost forgot. We are raffling this off. Um, for, so those of you who signed up and then put in this, we're going to draw to get y'all uh, hooked. Do what? He's got tickets. Got tickets? Three eight two six seven eight eight. Anybody out there? Anybody there? All right, y'all. Big round of applause for Drew Golson. Let's thank him for joining us today.